Hey there, Airsofters, MLightNewW here. If you remember a little while ago, I did a review on the Troy MRFC Gen 2. With help from Todd LMG from Team GSX, we were able to add some parts internally and externally to be able to help the gun perform better on the field. Internally, we put in an Echo 1 high speed motor, Echo 1 high speed gears with a 16 to 1 ratio, and a modified white ultra piston with partial metal teeth. We chose these parts not only for their higher speed capability, but also for their increased reliability to be able to withstand the higher stress that they'd be under. While the parts were being put in, Todd also radiused and shimmed the gearbox. Shims are washers that you can put on the axles attached to the gears. When you shim a gearbox, you are attempting to put in the right amount of shims so that the gears move freely and easily inside the gearbox, improving its reliability and performance. When you want to radius your gearbox, you take a Dremel and grind out these areas here and here in the front of the gearbox. The purpose of this is to help prevent a problem that many V2 and V3 gearboxes have, where the piston head can cause them to crack in that area. The last thing that was done was sorboing. With this you add a small pad on the cylinder head. This decreases the likelihood that your cylinder or piston will break when in use because of the fact that the pad absorbs some of the impact on the cylinder head. Here are the results from before and after the upgrades. There isn't a huge increase in fire rate from stock to upgraded, however with its current upgrades, it is much more reliable. The biikest difference can be seen when comparing the 8.4 volt battery included with the gun and the Echo One 11.1 LiPo battery. Now let's move on to the externals. Here is what the gun looked like before adding any upgrades. In the front, I added a Troy TRX 11 inch free float handguard. This new rail added a lot more style to the gun and certainly helps it stand out more. I did not like the original pistol grip that came with the gun, so I changed it for the Mad Bull Licensed Troy Control Pistol Grip. This grip has a lot better traction in my opinion and still has the Troy trademarks on it. Something that I discovered is that with the length of the outer barrel that the MRFC had, combined with the length of the free float rail that I chose, the Mad Bull Licensed Noveski KFH amplifier fit almost perfectly, where much of it is concealed inside of the rail, giving it a shorter profile. In order to add a little more flair, I had my friends over at Rock Armico do a custom paint job and engraving work. A white layer was added to the gun, and all logos seen were put on by using a laser engraving machine. The last thing I decided to do was to weave paracord through the rails. While this doesn't provide any real benefits, it certainly helps improve the look of the gun overall. If you want to see similar videos, reviews, or gameplay videos, consider subscribing! Once again, this was M Lightning W. Over and out.